CARICOM heads of government are meeting via video conference in a special emergency meeting to address the ongoing situation in Venezuela. According to the Office of the Prime Minister, Dr. Keith Rowley and Minister of Foreign and CARICOM Affairs, Dennis Moses, are in attendance. The government of Trinidad and Tobago will not get involved in the Venezuelan political crisis. Communications and National Security Minister Stuart Young made the country's position clear as he addressed today's post-cabinet media briefing. Ian Wayson has more. Venezuelan opposition leader Juan Guaido has declared himself as the president of the South American state, with the United States and other countries supporting him. But who does the government of Trinidad and Tobago recognize as Venezuela's president? President Maduro. President Maduro. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. But why? Since the elections have been alleged to be rigged, several countries have refused to recognize the incumbent as the leader. Minister Stuart Young said the government is keeping out of the affairs of Venezuela. We continue to decline any invitations for any hardline intervention or hardline solutions. The communications minister made it clear the decision of the government was well thought out, keeping in mind the close proximity of the two countries. We do not see it as being appropriate for us as a government, us as a people, to get involved in the internal politics and policies of what are going on with our neighbors. He said, however, the government will remain open to serve as the mediator between the parties, but they must first express willingness to talk and make a request for this country to mediate. Ian Wayson, TTT News. One international relations expert believes Trinidad and Tobago is too small a country to influence any opinion in Venezuela. Dr. Anthony Gonzalez says government is doing the correct thing by waiting to see what occurs in the country before intervening. He was commenting on the current Venezuelan political crisis, which has led to mass demonstrations throughout the country with angry Venezuelans protesting against Nicolas Maduro's refusal to give up presidency and call elections. On the, on the relatively um, safe side, which is to say that we have not... Um, recognize the head of the the, the, the the National Assembly. We have, some of us have said that we are against what is happening there. As it pertains to the stalemate between President Maduro and Juan Guaido, who was declared the interim president by the United States, Mr. Gonzalez said there are only two things that can be done to resolve this issue. One is to negotiate and call an election or battle the issue head on. I mean, really um, restoring the constitution, re-establishing the National Assembly, uh, dealing with the problems of the Supreme Court, having a proper um, election, uh, setting a date also for a, a, a new election, and generally to open up the system and allow proper political competition. I think. The government of Cuba says aggression against Venezuela must cease. In a media release, the Embassy of Cuba in Trinidad and Tobago condemns and rejects the attempt to impose a coup and expresses its unwavering solidarity with the government of constitutional president Nicolas Maduro. So far, Russia, China, Iran, Syria, Cuba and Turkey have voiced their backing for Maduro's government.